<laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are back and better than ever. Today, we are going to make a super cool car in Tinkercad. So sign into Tinkercad and let's get cracking. Alrighty, friends, let's start by naming it car with your initials. I've got many of these, so I'm going to call mine car MDH. Bring out a cube and let's click on the corners of that cube and let's make it 40 wide. Let's make it 75 long and let's make it 25 for its thickness. Let's turn on the cool radius and let's put it with a radius of four. You can adjust and find different numbers. The nice thing about giving it that radius and the steps of 10 is it makes our car a little more rounded so that it's got some nice texture to it. I'm going to start by adding headlights to my car. Let's do that with the work plane tool by attaching our headlights to the front, bringing out a cylinder, and then use the shift drag trick to shrink it all at once to the size you want your headlights to be. I'm going to use the arrow keys to nudge my first headlight into place. Let's look at it from a corner so we can make it the right thickness. I'm going to go back to four millimeters. I'm going to click and type that four millimeters and then I'm going to push it in one millimeter. So I'm sure it's attached. So see how it says negative one. Let's go back to that front view, do control D and I'm going to put my second headlight on the other side. You could take time to make these perfect. I'm doing it just for fun, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to take those two headlights and group them. I'm going to click on one, hold down the shift key, click on the second, and then pop. They are now grouped. I'm going to join them with my car by selecting both of those and grouping them. You'll notice that cancels out my cool colors, but I immediately fix that by hitting the multicolor choice. Let's hit that work plane tool and go back to a flat work paint plane and let's add the next piece to our amazing car. I'm going to make that the windshield which will be attached up here so I'm hitting work plane and clicking the top of the vehicle. You can make your windshield out of many things. I'm going to make mine out of the wedge. I'm going to start by turning it transparent. One thing about making it transparent is you won't be able to group it anymore. I'm going to view it from the top corner and that lets me find the rotate handle and I can spin it around so it's aimed the way I want my windshield to be. If I keep the mouse close to the middle of the shape, it makes it easier to find these long lines and rotate it the way I want. And then I simply use the little black handles to nudge it into place and stretch it across so it looks exactly how I want. I wanna make sure it is aligned, so I'm gonna draw a box that selects everything and I'm gonna click align and I want it to be centered left and right. I'll take a look at it from the front and I'm happy with that so it's good. Remember you can't group this or you lose your clear setting. I'm also going to push it in just a little bit just because I think it looks kind of nifty sunk into the car's body. Speaking of the car's body, let's create a place for people to sit. Go back to your whole box, bring it out. It is fine that it's sitting on top. Stretch it out so it's about as wide as your car, but not completely as wide. Align it so that it's centered across the middle of your car. We can get a look at that from the front to make sure it looks like we want. And now we've got a place to put our people in. We've just got to push this down inside the car. Notice I only went down 16 and I know my car is 25. I'll go a couple more just because I can. And then when you're happy, select those two pieces and group them. Remember, don't group your windshield or you'll lose your transparent color. Let's click the work plane and let's set it back to a normal work plane. Let's actually lock our windshield with the lock editing tool so that way we cannot group it with anything else and lose that cool transparency. Let's make a cool seat for our car real quick. Uh, turn our work plane on and set the item that we're building on the bottom of the car. Bring out a box. Let's hold down shift and shrink that box so that it fits inside the car. Notice it's smaller than the car is. And then I'm going to make it a little bit skinnier because I want two of these. And then here's a neat trick. We're going to click on the vehicle and we're going to hide it for a minute. That way we can zoom into the exact size of that chair. 
let's do the cool duplicate tool take that new piece off and let's make it a hole hold down shift and shrink it a little bit you can pick how much it doesn't really matter let's look at it from a top corner view let's lift it up so it's gonna cut out some of the hole and then when we grab them both let's select them and let's center them and let's center them click on the hole and let's nudge it to the front so what this is gonna do is when we group it there is gonna be a seat for somebody to sit on when you hit group boom you get a nice little seat let's make it a different color I'm gonna go black I'm gonna use the show all tool to bring them back notice my seat is not lined up but this is where you simply use the arrow keys to nudge it into place It'd be cool to have two seats or maybe more. So we do control D and move its new seat partner over to the other side. Let's look at it from that front corner view. And you can see that is pretty darn nifty. If you don't like the height, you can simply customize and adjust them now that they are built. I'm gonna spin around and look at them from the other corner. So I can grab that handle and stretch it to the same height as the other one. Let's move around to the back of the car and let's add some cool rocket engines. Turn on that work plane, attach it to the back, and let's bring out a cylinder. Once again, use that amazing shift drag tick trick. Once again, let's hold down shift and drag one corner so that it all shrinks. Get it exactly the way you want, make it nice and skinny. I'm gonna make mine a little smaller. I'm gonna press W and switch to the top of this shape for the work plane. And now I'm gonna bring out my rocket engine, the cone. I am gonna click one corner and hold shift and shrink it so it's the way I want. I'm making mine smaller than the shape. And then I'm gonna use shift to select both of those. So I hold shift and select the two shapes. Let's center them, pop, pop. I'm gonna make the inside one red so it kind of looks like flames or maybe I'm gonna choose orange and then I'm gonna make the other one black I'm gonna select those two items and I'm gonna group them uh, because this is a small shape the fit to view is a nifty trick so I've got the black one selected now I hold shift and click the second one and they're selected and when I hit group I have to turn on multicolor the last part of our project is to add wheels and that is super cool let's hit W and choose the side of the vehicle and let's go down to the awesome all shapes and find the super amazing wheel that is built in if you scroll down through the first list you will find the wheel when you bring a wheel out notice it's huge we are going to scale it by just holding down shift and dragging the handle. They are super customizable, but I'm going to tell you to not take time to customize it. In my lesson, you can do that on your own. I'm going to make it black. Make sure that it fits my car the way I want. Do my control D to move it across to the other side so that wheel's there as well. I'm going to select those two wheels and I'm going to group them. I'm going to do control D and then I'm going to take my second set of wheels and push them through a long ways. And here's the magic. I'm going to click on those two and I'm going to choose the amazing flip. So they flip so that they're aimed the other way. Now they're in the exact right shape they're supposed to be. And I Now they're aimed the exact same way they're supposed to be. I can hit W, and when I click on my wheels and click on that side of the car with W and hit the letter D, it drops them right on that work plane. One super simple step. 
Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this cool lesson. You can see here there is so much room for you to add your own amazing items. When you do have your whole item finished, uh, make sure your work plane is at the blue level. And if you hit the letter D, it will pop your whole car up to the exact height. Friends, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you have, please hit that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, please click that as well. If you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL Mod Tech, click that notification bell. And if you have any questions or comments, please add them below. Have a great day and keep tinkering.